Somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. That's Diamond Dave Damone. I'm Mason Quinn. Guys, tonight we're checking out Walking Dead, Dead City. This is episode four. Everybody wins a prize. And why do I just picture Negan saying that? But it seems like something he'd say. But anyhow, this has been a real nice surprise for the Walking Dead universe. A lot of you have enjoyed it. I've been enjoying the ride. I just can't wait to see where we go. Welcome to where you were going. I feel like that is a must say now every time we do these intros for The Walking Dead. Either way, I expect a banger because we are in episode four, as Mace Quid said. There's only two left after this, so gasoline poured. Let's go! Hey! flashback yeah just like the old days look at all well, that it food. is the old days yeah it's got his bat got a lucille dead pricks <laughs> <laughs> hey needs hey yes <laughs> yes <laughs> we got a problem oh, oh that was fun shit. <laughs> Oh, shit. It's like one of the greatest lines in TV history. Oh, I got to drop that in on the YouTube cut. <laughs> That's awesome. We get, oh, we got Simon. Yeah, getting to see Stephen Ogg. Well, then how does, how is this going to turn out then? I mean, we're starting in the past with yeah. Simon and Negan now. I think we're going to show him maybe playing out that story that he did with the Croat. Maybe. You know, I wonder... I also wonder, too, I wonder when we're going to find out, because we predicted in episode one that Maggie was exchanging Negan for Herschel. So I wonder how that's going to be all set up. Yeah. You gave the order, but, you know, you don't listen to me. I'm not going to say I told you so. <laughs> I'm not that kind of guy. <laughs> Certain folks, a lot of folks, are saying it's time to rein his ass in. We did it. The girl, she confessed. She was sent by the king. Exactly like we said to let her walk. That process Whoa, easier. takes time. Your keen sense of observation, your emotional intelligence. Blah, 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 blah. blah. This is what I'm talking about, Negan. This Using these high talking about words. Yeah. A Slavic, psychopathic, not charming. Oh, my kids! Is a line we do not cross. I know you understand. We have to be sure. <laughs> Oh, wow. that, that better not be all Simon we get. I think that's all we're getting. <laughs> no. I looked everywhere. So what, he took off? Anybody outside last night? Maybe see Luther head out? <laughs> well, well he, he headed out all right. <laughs> all I know is he wasn't real keen on this plan. Every hour is more time for the psycho to figure out we're coming. Come on, Luther's his own guy, right? Time he gets back and sees the shit we pulled, his thankful ass gonna be kissing your butt ugly feet. Oh, oh on this episode. Yeah, the uh, the handsome supermodel is done. He's done. <laughs> no, it's cool. It's, uh, it's getting better. Took the bees, wag. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. No. I'm not. And no, it's not because he wants me dead. Hell, lots of people have wanted me dead. Closer we get to the crow out. It just starts to feel a bit too goddamn familiar. Like, if he starts talking, it won't be him at all. It's going to be the echo of some song that I don't want to hear no more. Who's playing that harmonica? When Herschel was a baby, this guy, Amos, living above us, and Herschel was having trouble sleeping, and Amos decided it was a good time to learn the harmonica. Huh. I asked him very nicely if he could stop practicing at night. So the next time he was out on the honey expedition, I snuck into his room and I stole the harmonica and I went and buried it in the fucking Oof. ground. <laughs> hey, our Eppenheimer! Yeah. <laughs> well. <laughs> Have you, uh, did you see my matches? No. I'm noticing a lot of little, little lies yeah. between the both of them starting to pile up. Mm-hmm, they are. And the way these episodes have been written, I think that's going to come into play in this episode. If not, for sure, the next one. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is so cool how everything's just taken over. Look at all those cars. You know, I will say that is one cool thing they've been doing for us in between for transitions of showing the city. Yeah, those overhead shots are really nice. 
It's methane from the sewers. I uh, don't drop a match. Yep. You know, outside our, our dude, David Chen, being a smart walker, as he claims. <laughs> I know you're watching, Dave. He was. He gave a look. <laughs> and uh, I'm surprised we haven't seen more. I mean, if I'm down in the sewers, I'm going to have like a pole or something so I can just quick take these guys out real quiet like you know you mm-hmm. want to get them all riled up no 100 percent. like there's oh. no other way like you can't just walk Plus, on the track you have to step over yeah them. <laughs> I'm just waiting for somebody to get the old ankle grab no ninja walkers out oh, of that how convenient we got a lot of red shirts in this group dave there's a lot of people here everybody trying to get into wrestlemania 14 <laughs> No way is Herschel in one of these. That's not him. That's not Herschel. That can't be. It's not him. Man, I feel like as a viewer, it's almost kind of unfair because we only got that like that one scene with grown up Herschel. We'll wait here a beat so the psycho won't sniff us out. Should give you enough time to jack a car while Negan baits the Croat down to the garage, lure him halfway across the city, get him <laughs> alone. You get your kid, we kill the psycho. Everybody wins a prize. Don't screw it up. Don't screw it up. She, mm. is that, that better have been to her people. Yeah. Not to uh, make I think Negan. our team's going to be just fine. I feel good about this. We're going to get your boy back. I have to tell you something. <gasps> she was going to tell him, then found the beeswax. I can explain. You've done enough explaining. Don't act like you never did something you needed to explain. She was just about to open up a little bit. Yep. That's the kind of writing I hate, though, sometimes, because it's like, I get, yeah. like, the past and the history. Yeah. But give him two seconds. Like, don't you want to know why? Inject the disc. And you press the button. Are you afraid of me? You know, I still recall the day you joined us. You were smart. You laid down your weapon. It has been a joy over these past few years watching you blossom into this strong, confident protector. You should have no reason ever to be afraid of me. Why don't you just yell at me when you say that? Yeah. Oh, there it is. (laughs) (laughs) Actually smiled a little bit there like he's excited for it. Oh boy, what's going to happen here? What's he going to be watching? Okay, so obviously the Croat's going to have to have some plans because he's not going to win a fist fight with Negan. Oh. Oh. Jenny. Negan? Oh, this is good. I really like the way this is shot. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, the whistles. Definitely gives you four six or six sixteen vibes. Yeah, for sure. man, the that level of tension I had during that episode. I think there's gonna be a walker in one of those. Oh no, he's gonna see where Maggie was there. The methane, a candle. I don't know, man. Wait. Oh boy. Oh, it's a trap. No, that's our people. Yep. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a trap, trap for them. And here's the backup. Uh Nikes. So now all of it is going to come right into there. Mm -hmm. Use the octagon, because I think we saw that in the trailer with Maggie. A little plot armor here. Okay. Dude's not just going to see the door like... Well, it's dark. I'd like to hear from 
the folks who live in New York and who go to MSG regularly for games, they'd be like, oh no, you just go out this exit, you're fine. <laughs> Ooh, look at that one. Them crazy eyes. Oh, now we'll just make some more noise. Nope. I'll catch up. Hey. Stay. <laughs> Reminds me of the prison scene where if they get inside the cage, they could at least kind of pick them off from inside. That'd be, you know, through smart. the fence. A couple red shirts going. Oh yeah, for sure. There goes two. Yep. I mean, he, this guy. He's later. Like, <laughs> oh, later. Her too. There goes. You're, four. you're not gonna be able to stay and fight and take them all out. You got to do like the Shane and Otis thing, where if they're occupied, you got to try to bail. Oh. Oh. They, oh. Is this it? Didn't see it. We didn't. Well, <laughs> I swear, if he came out of that unbitten, yeah. What plot armor? <laughs> we have a guest. Well, I see. <laughs> He's smiling. He's so excited. <laughs> Our, yep, supermodel's yep. gone. Yep. <laughs> oh, here we go. There you go. Just like there old you times, go. Maggie. Like season three. Yep. And, well, season four. That's when they started as early season yeah. four for this. Hey! You gonna try to push their way out? Yep. Well, now that was season three going into the prison. Yeah, where they had the shields and they're in the diamond formation. But but there's no ru there's really no rush just yet. No, take just, out as many as you can and yeah, then go right through the fence. They're all just sitting there. I do like this cat and mouse between Negan and the Croat, though. Little call back to season three. It is. It totally is. Stay together. Wow, she gone. Oh, she gone. Oh, hey! He had to get yeah, bit. Yeah, he probably got bit, but came back. Come on, come on, come on. You know, they still got to find Herschel. Look at all that fuel and generator. Nothing to be afraid of. It's only me. Nigga! <laughs> <laughs> I heard what happened at that bank. It sounded like your handiwork. Blew up my ear, so what? I have another. <laughs> <laughs> Where is Lucille? What too many hits to the head, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I saw Jerome on the mainland. He told me about the war with the hilltop, Alexandria. I can only imagine the damage Simon caused. No, just ask the garbage people. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you lost the sanctuary. I have built a new one. The whole island will become our sanctuary. Oh, oh, that's that's not who we're after. I forgot all about him in this episode. Yeah. <laughs> He's a marshal. I am here for the kid. That's right, the marshal told me. You're still helping the widow. Just give me the kid. This will require a conversation. I will make a gesture. Show you that I come only in the spirit of friendship. Yeah. What are you doing? Oh! The leg! Come on. He's not happy that he's seen a changed Negan. No. There you go. That's not what he wanted. Oh, God, that had to hurt. Where is Herschel? Okay. Okay. We can see if Tommaso got bit? Yeah, I was just going to ask. There's no way he made that without getting bit. Yeah. I told you, it's too dangerous. Doesn't. 
Well, she gave the warning, so someone's gonna get hurt here. Well, the marshal's gonna let him go now. Yeah. Helped him. I think we bought ourselves a little bit of time to figure out what that. Code 14, Section 2. Ah, you knew Intentional it! Intentional killing shall be defined as first degree murder and shall be punishable by supplementary execution. You're a dick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Folks, sorry. There's no way this dude made it through 20 walkers. <laughs> Unscathed. Okay. Oh, she's just having a panic attack. Yeah. Covering. <laughs> covering it up. Yeah. You're right. And that's the end, isn't it? Oh, come on. All right. There what it was, an interesting folks, episode. Episode four. And okay. Our guy Tommaso had a little bit of plot armor, it seems, but I Good. still think it's going to be revealed that he was bad yeah. because we've, we've seen way worse. And that'll probably be a really uh, gripping scene with Tommaso and Amia where they'll be, he'll be like, no, we got to go. I'll hold him back. Don't worry. And then he'll do one of these or whatever. And he'll be bit, but no, really fun episode. I seeing the crow hat like this was like, <laughs> Negan, my guy, where have you Negan. been? You know? It was great. But uh, yeah, man, a lot of cat and mouse between those two. I really liked that with Negan ducking all over MSG. And, uh, you know, some of you who live out there and have maybe been to the to the world's most famous arena, uh, you're probably sitting there the whole time saying, oh, you could go this way. You could go that way. There's little, you know, service ducks or vents or whatever anywhere. But, you know, it's a really cool setting for an episode like this where you got a bunch of different things going on. People are trying to get in. We're trying to rescue Herschel. Still no sign of him. No idea where he is. And I, I, did Maggie just leave him at the end? I mean, I get they didn't have much of a choice. They were trapped in that room. But I thought maybe she was going to close off the way behind him. And maybe she was going to go try to figure something out. But... Yeah. That, that one threw me for a loop. We were both like, totally wrong. With, yeah, like, it, it got 90, us. 90% of the stuff. Yeah, it totally got us. I agree with you because like we were saying, well, I guess we'd do the same. Tell the, you know, kind of give them the, you go ahead. Yeah, go for it. I'll and then do I'll it. protect you from here. And then I got to go get Herschel. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, the interesting part of the opener where Negan and Simon have their rule, rather the saviors that, you know, no women, no kids sort of thing. You know, the Croat doesn't, seem to have a line he won't cross and that's the problem if you're gonna be evil just how evil are you gonna be now we've had the discussion were the saviors truly evil we look at our group with rick's group what they did versus what the saviors did that's an argument you can have for hours and hours but what i'm getting at is that if once you decide to cross the line you got to be mindful that there's always somebody else who might go a little bit further than you, and that makes you vulnerable if there's something you won't do. So if you're going to be bad, you're going to have to be really friggin' bad to stay number one. Um, and I liked how they showed that with them. Uh, and then, you know, the catwalk scene, they talked about it a little bit in the after the episode, but... I wish there would have been a little bit more lighting there to show us just how far the fall was to the, cause they were up on a catwalk and those are yeah, really the, far. the lighting that they had going was just a boom, a boom. Yeah. Boom. It was, it was flashing. So it wasn't like enough unless you like really focused on it. Yeah. Where you get like that first time watch. Yeah. You get like that vertigo. Yeah. Where, like, you see him hanging, but you know, overall I really enjoyed this episode. I don't know what's up with Herschel. I don't know when we're going to finally find him. Maybe the last episode. And uh, of course the marshal ends up turning on Negan in the store. <sighs> Can't believe it. What a dick. Yeah. I'll start off with the uh, beginning of the episode, man. I wish I would have got more Simon oh, because no. That what sixty seconds was not enough. I was actually hoping we were going to get a lot of, you know, current past, yep. current past, just a little bit. Uh, but hey, something is better than nothing. It was great to see Steven back. God, I wish you guys. I hope you guys <laughs> figure out some more to kind of give us some more backstory. I don't know how much you can, but be great if you can someday. Mm -hmm. So thanks for coming back, Steven. Appreciate that. <laughs> um, also. Uh, I did make a comment in there, most likely it probably made the cut, but just in case if it didn't, where 
you, the the whole beeswax thing where Maggie found that, and then she was about to tell him something, most likely with Ginny. Yep. And then she saw the the beeswax, and then the whole thing. Well, never mind. I'm just gonna take off walking, or however she said that. Yeah. I totally understand why the writers do that because you want to keep that friction, you want to keep mm -hmm. that tension because it makes for good writing. Yep. Like sometimes it's like, just give a quick why, you know? You're like, what did you do? And then maybe yeah. have, you know, like, oh, here comes a walker. Yeah. You know, instead of having Maggie Please. not like, uh, super like she's just over it, like. Yeah. And yeah. nothing against Maggie, but. Get just a little bit of a why, and then have just as Negan's about to really dive into it, just boom, here comes a walk around the door or something. Yeah, yeah I mean, in this world, information is important regardless of what it is. You want to know what's going on with as much as you can. Yeah, especially you never know what you need because that kind of information where Negan, hey, the dude was going to take me out right there. Yep. If I didn't fight for my life. Mm -hmm. And then if Maggie's like, whatever. Hey. Yeah, well, then that's different. Yeah, then that's different. Yeah. But uh, again, I understand why they did it. Just a super nitpick on my part because, again, we see this time and time again in movies and TV. Just like, give a why, and then they get scared off. Something like that. Uh, with <laughs> with the supermodel Tommaso. <laughs> Our guy. <laughs> I'm telling you know, I'm holding out hope that he is bit. He's got, he got the be. ninja bite. He was surrounded by like five walkers. Five. That was like 20. Yeah, and just and somehow got out of it. All around him. So if he gets away with that, and the way they wrote off Carl and a couple other people, not going to fly. That's not cool. And he didn't even have a weapon. He wasn't like, you know, Tyrese doing his scene with the hammer. Yeah. that Now that's different because, right, that was specifically pulled out of the comic. Mm-hmm. So if this plot armor ends up being true here with uh, the supermodel, Tommaso, <laughs> man, I'm not going to be happy. Otherwise, a really good episode. Yeah. I know some people might, you know, kind of pick on the whole cat and mouse game a little bit. Yeah. And that's fine. That's fair because I understand some people don't like that. Yeah, it's everybody's dragged taste. out. Yeah. But that was actually pretty good because Negan kept, you know, we usually see, we don't see that out of Negan. So seeing the Korat, you know, just light up with joy anytime uh, so he thought happy. he was close to Negan and then <laughs> thought it was great yeah. uh, the way they uh, had him just overjoyed and excited and then of course I honestly didn't expect Percy to section 14 yeah, one two three bullet point either. and then whatever he said I was like really dude grits never would have done that grits we know you wouldn't have we know David Chen wouldn't have <laughs> he never would but uh <laughs> Overall, uh, really, take out my nitpicks. Solid, yeah. solid episode. Yeah. I am with you, Quinn. I don't know when. We're, I mean, there's only two episodes left. I got to imagine episode five, we get a tease of Herschel at least now. Yeah, I mean, because they had that scene, you know, where they they went in that prison cell and there was the kid there, and we didn't know. And honestly, I didn't know. I was looking for Maggie's expression to let me know because we only had that quick little scene or two with Herschel in the very beginning. And I'm like, wait, is is that him? No, is it? You know, I wasn't I wasn't sure. And you guys know me and, and names and everything else. But uh, yeah, so I wasn't sure. I wish we would have got like at least, it's tough because right, because Maggie's not going to have a sigh of relief no. because it's still a kid. Yeah. So she's still going to have that similar emotion. So it was good that Negan, you know, did the it's not him sort of thing. And I was very curious how it was going to play out when Negan finally did meet the Croat, because obviously the Croat's not going to take him on in a fist fight. Uh, the guy looks like he's in his late 60s for sure, and uh, not a large statured man either. So not going to go hand to hand with Negan, but definitely had something going on up here and had something in place for him. Yeah, and for future, I mean, the episode's already written, uh, but for future writing, if we get more seasons of Dead City or Daryl or Rick and Michonne, which don't get me started on that if it's only six episodes, by the way. Uh, you know, it, adding the red shirts does tip the audience off pretty well. And maybe that's her intention. Maybe that's the writer's intention. I don't yeah. know. But when you see nobody and then, boom, there's like 15 people. <laughs> like, oh, wow. Those are all gone. But uh, again, it, overall. It's kind of a catch-22. Right? Yeah. I, again, I know I'm nitpicking and picking on the show a little bit. But this style, like. I, I'm going to shout some praise now real quick before we go here. Yep. I love the cutbacks. Mm -hmm. Like, we didn't... That was my uh, huge thing with the uh, Gimple, 
Oh, we got to just do a bottle episode with all these characters. Let's not do, you know, five seconds on this person or two seconds over here, which is no time at all. Here we're getting boom, 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 boom. We're getting all the jump backs. And even yep. in that first 60 seconds, we got a, a flashback. See how all that works, Gimple. I know you, your title, you get an EP credit or whatever it is on here, but <laughs> I, I praise you guys for that. Yeah, so. no, I, I really like the episode in that, you know, with these standalone spin-offs if you will it allows the writers to keep everything so much tighter mm -hmm. so much action on the core characters no fat whatsoever in the episode and and i really i enjoy this style of the walking dead where they're not trying to manage such a huge cast on an individual episode i like where you have a smaller crew that you can focus on and it, it gives you more character development so i i really enjoyed that um yeah, I love the overhead shots of New York showing the... Because like I said, it only takes a second to show us where the characters are. What's the street like? How is it all blocked off? Why can't they do this? Why can't they do that? And then they show it. So huge kudos to everybody involved for mm -hmm. doing that as well. Yep, and you and I missed uh, on the last one. A lot of uh, people pointed out we... Because uh, we're doing... I, at least I'm doing a lot of grazing. But they did have the uh, the new tower. Yes, under construction. Yeah, yeah. so that was pretty yep. cool. So those little things I got to start paying attention yep. for because you know how they get them in there. So. And our our boys from the bar in uh, the Nebraska episode were from Philly, not New York. So thanks for correcting me on that. That's still one of my favorites. But... <laughs> Until the next one. All right, guys. So for Diamond Day of Damone, I'm Mason Quinn. This was Bad Medicine. That was Dead City. I can't wait to see you guys back on the next one.